Good morning, everyone. Uh, we're in Australia. Good morning. Good morning. I filmed this whole thing. We had a whole morning, and the audio wasn't working. So, so we're here, of course, in Australia for the final round of the LZ. I need to put my seatbelt on. I'm so distraught because we just found out that none of my audio was working. So that. That's upsetting. This is my first time in Australia. We got in yesterday. It was a journey. It kicked kick my ass. We actually had a pretty cool day yesterday and I didn't film it, but we filmed it on Grand's channel. So you guys want to check out our first day in Australia. It was actually a blast. Thank you, Jim. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. We had a good time. So today is kind of a buffer day until it all kind of starts. So right now we are in our rental car. Thank you to Tara yep. for letting us hold down her 34. It's our homie Mike Lake's girlfriend, and she said we could drive it for the week as long as we don't break it. So we'll try our best not trying to, our best. to break it. Damn, I hope intro, like, oh, oh we know, filled dude, so much. I but, know, I know. All right, so we just pulled up to a gas station trying to get our day started, and we just ran up on this beautiful S14. And uh, he asked if we wanted to see some cool stuff. So uh, now we're following him to. Maybe get our car stolen. We're not sure, but <laughs> we're trusting a fellow car guy and we're going to his friend's shop a couple minutes down the road here. And he said, do you guys want to see some shit? And we said, sure. He's already done a few clutch kicks on the road, so I already like this kid, so. Well, you can put those in. There's not gonna be audio, but you can show them at least. This is my first time in Australia. Uh, we're in Melbourne, which is how the Australians pronounce yeah. it. So far, it's beautiful, but we got a lot to see. Where are we? <laughs> oh my God, where are we? I wasn't expecting that to be No, safe. I was no, not no, expecting no. that either. Maybe like, whoa, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, he did his thing on that All one. right, he had to do <laughs> You don't see standstill Mark IVs very often. <laughs> When you do, like that it hits so down. good. Is this yours? Yeah, yeah. Are good? all three yours? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, Six, that is bro. beautiful. This thing is crazy. Is You've never seen stands out Mark no. IVs, and when you do, they just kind of hit different. What we got? All right, yep, not just a sand scar. <laughs> yeah, that wow, is man. beautiful, dude. What the hell? Did you guys get uh, Supras new in Australia, or is this a Japanese? No, 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 that no, would have been imported. It would have been imported, yeah, yeah, mainly from Japan, I'd assume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. I basically got this, this was basically a shell when I got it, actually. So the whole build, you see, I've done it all here. And really? In suspension. In, and in, in this warehouse? On the floor, yeah. Everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean, it looks like you've touched everything on this thing, so. Well, it's a brand new motor, so the short motor I got from Toyota, so no engine numbers or nothing on it. Still. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because so. yeah, you could still buy the short blocks in the head. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I've got the short block brand new, and then everything else, all the new, all the sensors and switches. Sick. And Jesus. Damn, this thing is tasteful. Oh, what a beautiful car. I don't care if you don't like Stan's cars, you gotta respect you it. You gotta dude. respect it. And it does, like, like even if you don't want to admit it, they look so They look so, so good. Cool. You, I can tell myself that I don't like low cars anymore. You see a low car going down the highway, you are looking at it more than any other car. Like, yeah, it's crazy. What do they say? Boys. Boise. The coolest cars in the world are always in just random warehouses, I know, right? Dude. And especially 34 GTRs. I don't think I've ever seen one. <laughs> not in the spot where you'd be like, why is that here? They're just always, they're in the most random spots. And this thing's beautiful It's too. absolutely beautiful. beautiful. We do have an RV in its natural habitat at the machine shop. <laughs> always say, no matter where you go in the world, we're all nerds for the same stuff. Yeah, it'll be, it's really easy to find friends. <laughs> as long as you're willing to talk to somebody, if they're in a car, you're gonna be friends with them. We all have the same baseline personality. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're stopping at the track that we will be driving out this weekend. It is called Cold Calder Park here in Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne? Melbourne. They say Melbourne. Why? Melbourne. I don't know. Let's talk to this lady, though. If she'll let us in. This place is quite massive. It's huge, dude. It's crazy. This is so sick. It's crazy. What? Yeah, dude. Why? What? Why is this place? Hold on, you guys will see as soon as we get over this So one. this is the Thunderdome, they call it. <laughs> they have like two main tracks here. This is like the big track. This used to be Australian NASCAR track. What? Look at what the f That's yeah. all grandstands. It's crazy, right? Look at the bank. It's nuts, dude. This is the much more humble track that uh, we'll be driving. Hey! So this is the famous wall right here, Jimmy. We'll be running this, obviously coming the opposite way. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I didn't realize it was so, so we'll be running this wall. Running this wall, yep. That's sick. That's all wall. That's crazy. They're also doing 
viewing on the inside of the truck, which I've never seen. the gnarliest shit I've ever heard of in my life, dude. Inside of viewing, that's pretty cool, so. We are flying straight. Yeah, so it's gonna be big. this. To this. To outer zone wall. To wall for an <laughs> hour and a half. This is such a long wall ride. That's amazing. This will be so much fun. Oh, this is gonna be good. We say sorry now. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Jason, here's a formal apology from me and Chris. Formal since, apologizing. Since we're borrowing, apologizing, we're Jason. both borrowing a car from you. So. <laughs> you just take the the rear bumpers off now. Yeah, as well. <laughs> Well guys, that's Calder Park. This should be interesting. It actually looks like a really fun layout. It's simple, but I think the wall, that crazy wall will make things really exciting. And to be fair, tracks always look way scary when you when you walk them. But then when you hop in the car, it kind of all goes away. Well, you know what? I gotta give a second and show off Tara's car. This thing is sick. So I have to give props to New Zealand and Australian guys because I feel like they're the kings of turboing NA engines. Grant, pop the hood for me right here. So this is Pop the bonnet, or whatever they call it. Uh, so, this is an NA RB25 Neo with a turbo slapped on it. So it's not originally a turbo, which is super cool, and honestly, these take power pretty well. Even the RB20 Neo takes the, the turbo really well. It's sick, because you already got the engine. Put a turbo on it, put an ECU on it, and have fun. I mean, the, the non-turbo models are a lot cheaper. Especially if you get like a sedan or something and you want to have fun, so. Um, you got the engine. Use We're ready, it. and we got the we got the noises too. This thing sounds incredible. That's kind of like the one thing that RBs do is they do sound, sound good. very good. That's like the one thing RBs got. You have a non-turbo Skyline or as chassis, just turbo it. Would be sick. Continue on our Australian tour for the morning. We are headed down to Keep It Keep It Reads new facility. They just put together, and I heard it's insane. Yeah, looks so, wild. So let's go check the boys out. Some you, weird. No, Jimmy? Just check out the... The boys. The, the boys shop. The, the boys. shop, but the boys... The factory. Uh, God, I need sleep. So here we are at Keep It Reach's new facility. It, this is, this is beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Jason? Jason, if they don't know who you are, give me your quick two sentence introduction. I'm the Kang, the creator of the Octon Pros. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Awesome YouTube channel, hosts amazing events, throws amazing giveaways, and he's kind of hand you're handsome. You're a handsome boy. I do a lot of things. Jimmy. <laughs> what the f All right, give me a second. Taste in cars is just amazing. <laughs> what the f Surely we could uh, turn that one on. This, yeah. this is the flamethrower. <clears throat> Quad turbo, compound turbo, flamethrower. <clears throat> it shoots the yeah, biggest flames you've ever seen. Are these your personal cars? No, nah, the majority are giveaway cars. Okay. Um, that one down in the middle is my personal. Um, and like company cars. But yeah, oh. These are hell, like these are crazy giveaway cars. They're 70,000 kilometers. Jesus. Single turbo 34 GDR. Just give these away. <laughs> Pretty much. That NSX and my Jesus Christ. You don't see second, like, fate will call a facelift NSX very often. Yeah, it's done well. That's done like 40,000 kilometers or something. I don't know. Jesus that is miles, Christ. But, um, now, is this a, a Japanese import or were they sold new in Australia? Um, I always find that interesting to ask about cars. I'm pretty sure they're all import. Yeah, all import, right? Yeah. But you guys got a surprising amount of cars though. Because there's only a few Australian brands that made cars. Mm. So then like Japan was I think the next like the easiest thing to bring cars in, I think. You don't know about this car. This car's scary. Is it a giveaway car? Yeah, this one's getting drawn today in a few hours. I think. What? <laughs> I really appreciate about your giveaways. They're not just like a random car that someone just puts on Facebook and it's like buy it. You actually have It's like cars that we'd want to own. It, is it, like it's it's cars that 
in a group of the same car would stick out, if that makes sense. We just like to upset ourselves every time. Yeah, you like to? Like, uh, do I have to? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this one makes 1,000 kilowatts, what not horsepower. That's 1,500 horsepower. Jesus Christ, dude, and it looks really good. I mean... It's an RB28, 55 PSI. 55 10, PSI? RPM. <laughs> Jesus, what is this, a diesel? <laughs> it's an absolute weapon, Samsung is sequential. It's sick because it doesn't look like it makes 1500 horsepower. Like I feel like the cars that look like they make a lot of power, they're like, that looks useless, but... Definitely feels like it makes that power. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah. LZ, is this yours? Yeah. Is it? I haven't seen it in years. Is this really your yellow one? Yeah. No yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. It's been sitting in a paddock for a few years, but... Gross. Containers, paddocks. <laughs> no way. Um, so this is Jason's uh, comp car, which is wild. So it's an old Nissan wagon with a Ford Barra, 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 Barra. Is it Barra or Barra? What the hell is a Barra? So it's Barra. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, you got your A, E, I, uh -huh. uh, A, E, A. Isn't this such a heavy engine? It's not. It's the same weight as a 2 jet. Really? It's Aussie 2 jet. I would never guess it. a bit it. longer, a bit taller, but they're, yeah. I haven't. Is like, it aluminum block? Weighted, but, there's no way that's lighter than the same way as the teacher. I think it's huge. The car I will be driving this weekend is actually under the tarps right there. Uh, I guess it was like fully redone. So hopefully I don't scuff up Jason's brand new rebuild. But we're gonna check it out. It's really cool. I'm actually really excited to drive it and excited to show you guys. So let's see if we can pull the tarp off. All right, so we've all been doing our car reveals one by one and it's finally on to mine. I'm the last car under the cover. I don't want to give away what they're driving because I think my video will be up before you, so. This. Damn, this he is just came here with some weird ass. Yeah, that was different. Yeah, dude, what do you, you mean? He just did his intro. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's totally different. It's a new day. Yeah, yeah. that was crazy. You gotta be it's home. a totally different gym right now. <laughs> <laughs> his face. <laughs> <laughs> came in here a thousand yeah, miles an hour. Whew. We had to get right after it. We just filmed two Whew. reveal videos and now it's my turn. All right, let's go. We're not taking the thunder away, Jim. Come on. Do you know what you're, you know a little bit what you're driving, I know right? what I'm driving. You well, haven't seen it. Bro. No, they just, Jason decided, oh, let's rebuild the entire car for Jimmy. So hey, the liability's high. It's fresh, it's fresh. It's my favorite car out of them. That's sick. Perfect. His favorite car that was just freshly rebuilt. Perfect. 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 Oh, face yes. reveal first, ready? Yep, go, go, yep. Damn. Big sick of shit. It looks good, man. I can't believe how smooth the quarters are. When I drove this thing, it looked like a ripple strip. It's got all the wide body. It's got new, look how, look how fresh this car looks. It's got brand new wheels, brand, it's got wheels. brand new aero, it's got brand new stickers. Fresh paint too. That was you. This, this is nice. sick. This is just for you. Making me look All good. For you. All for me, this yeah. is for me. You repay me late. Uh, 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 <laughs> I really enjoyed this unveiling of the targets. Yeah, targets? <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. This one's yeah. different. Why is this one different? Um, we normally go the solid ass, but this one. <laughs> <laughs> Open the boot. Ooh, I love this. Oh, oh. Oh. He's got the the moped spring in the they back. They actually are like a little <laughs> motorbike. Spring. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> a little Pee Wee Fifty. Pee Wee Fifty. It was kind of made to like take a hit. Yeah. It's firm. You'll know. <laughs> You'll know when you hit it. What? what is it's got like these ball magnets. So if you if you hit the back, of the boot should just pop up. Oh, so this is just a magnet down. Yeah. Little ball magnets. But they're strong. They're strong. That is nice. Wow. Like when Adam hits me on transition, it's just gonna go. He doesn't do backwards. So right. At least he'll take a wall pretty good. That's good to see. Oh my god. I was, this, it, oh. This. I was not expecting this. It's magnets? No. No, it's just, off. there's no it's metal just behind it. The whole rear end's magnets when you hit the wall. It's just like, <laughs> shoots, it's it just falls off. What they say about Jimmy and blue cars? What do they say about me and blue cars? Can't wait to hear this one. It's inappropriate <laughs> for the vlog. Oh, yeah. It sucks because the car is so perfect. When it comes back, every scratch you know would be my fault. Yeah, every, yeah. every scratch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the seat looks like it's low. Come off as well. Got the quick release. <sighs> oh my god, I actually fit in this thing. Is that a Nardi? This is sick. <laughs> Factory handbrake. Is it work good? Yeah, it's got project new pads. It's really good. This is just a big box. It's a dog box. Oh, is this? It doesn't is, whine, but it, it's like, a Nissan big it box at the two, three, and four dollars, right? Nissan casing yeah. with the yeah first to first to fourth. It's funny because when you do like the standard casing boxes with dog gears, it just feels like you have a broken transmission. You feel yeah, guilty yeah. when you shit there because it's like <laughs> yeah. yeah. This thing just like steers itself. 
don't know what it is. It's just like really well balanced. This is insane. You made all of our cars so nice. Yes, fresh. This is incredible. Thank you for this. No. Hey, we have to see what's under the hood. What do you think it's gonna be? <laughs> Duh. Duh. What's the most Jimmy Oaks engine? Is it a KA? K, K series? If there was a stereotypical engine that they're like, oh, of course Jimmy put that in that. It car. used to be an SR. Yeah. And then I have, I have quite a big plethora of engines. Yeah, you do. Yeah. You quite a bit of variety. Probably a flat six. Big Porsche guy now. Jesus. He's got some weight to it. <laughs> trying to slow me down. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, it's missing a pod filter here. Is it missing a filter? <laughs> <laughs> Got, uh, That's so funny. All right, so this, I think this is a NA block. This is the motor that came in the car. Um, so that it's never been pulled out. All we've done is put a second hand metal head gasket and second hand ARP studs in this thing and it makes um, a bit 500 horsepower all day, every day. 500 horsepower on a non-turboed engine. We just talked about this, how crazy it is. Like people don't do this anywhere else than like Australia, New Zealand, it's wild. And you guys just do it like it's... We've found the recipe that just works now. Second hand head gasket and second hand studs and some good fuel. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jimmy, that was an overnight job. When it hits boost, it is the gnarliest bar. 500 horsepower, you said, right? Yeah. That's it's just crazy. extremely it's high insane. comp response. Why'd I even bother with an RB30 at this point? <laughs> Popping going. Of, is it laggy? No. Nope. Insane response. Really? Yeah. This thing's got. I'll take ECU, Link ECU, what you got? Um, this one has an old Adaptronic. Well, they all have Adaptronic ECU. Okay, cool. And this thing stays cool? Yeah, this one stays the coolest out of them all. I don't know why, it's just the magic cup. It just works. It's, got up like three it's, the, it's the Phoenix radiator, right? Yeah, that's it. Look at us, right? It's a magic car. I hope to continue this magic streak of this thing. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> and thank you for putting this together. Sorry, this is really cool. Enjoy it. <laughs> Looking at the car, it looks um, big and floaty, but everyone's saying that it's actually really snappy. Yeah, this thing, it's got the Acostal steering and you can adjust it. Okay. It was dialed in and it's like really snappy. It's just like, Which is incredible, because I feel like when I see our chassis drift, it's more for novelty than actually being a well-performing chassis, but. Yeah, it won't feel as light as yeah, like an S13 and stuff, but it's still like, you can preload it and really snap it if you want. Awesome. It. Awesome. it just has huge angle and it just like, it does kind of float around, but you can just point and shoot exactly where you want it. Perfect. Like, yeah, really nice car, bro. It's third gear, third like gear. you just enter third gear. It's a tight corner, the first one that we're doing, but you'll just yeah, give it a nice dump. We'll get those two six fives going. Mm -hmm. No worries. Sounds perfect. This <laughs> is really freaking cool. I can't wait to drive it. car looks incredible I'm excited it feels when you sit in the car it feels huge um, but everyone's saying that the car is phenomenal and uh, it actually feels very nimble which is crazy and they've hyped it up quite a bit I'm excited to to feel it you know like it's definitely a whole different package than I'm used to but it should be something else and I'm very very pumped for it the nerve-wracking thing is the car is perfect so I have to be on my best behavior with this thing but I also I have to drive hard because uh, well everyone else is gonna so Huge shout to Jason from Keeper Reet for putting this together for us. Cars are are really really cool and something else, and um, it's fun. You know, it, it's a very like I'll call it a very Aussie package, and it's fun being able to drive a car like that here in Australia versus just another uh, typical recipe that we're used to. I feel like I'm getting like the full experience, so it's gonna be a good weekend. All right, well, nothing breaks a new shop in like a shop burnout. Oh wait, that was insane, bro. Right? That was nuts. A million cameras filming that one. But, uh... I, I at least had to show the aftermath of that one. I don't, know what it's, I don't know what it's about being a dude, but a good old shop burnout just gets you going. It's raining tire bits. Welcome to Australia, mate. Yeah, that's definitely... That's this Australia to the T, baby. Oh, God. Six rotor. RIP your eardrums. Yeah, that's good. How sick is that? Yeah, that's, that's the content we yeah. need right there, yeah.
on camera. No, I found it. They made a clone car of Adam's S13 here. It's so cool. Seeing seeing this same car here, but in Australia, just kind of blows my mind. I love it. I want a clone coupe somewhere. Adam bought this yellow Evo uh, like five, five years, years ago yeah. in Australia, and it's just been here ever since. And I love it so freaking much, dude. Yellow cars are the best, and Evo 5s are the best thing on the planet, so. You know what's better? Ah. RB25 dose. Like, come on. Put that on the bucket list, you know? Yeah, no, I I owned one. I know, and I was going to buy it, remember? And then Colette yeah, bought and it. And then Colette bought it, yeah. yeah. Everything happens for a reason, but the yellow is just different. So, yellow. good day, long day, little brand dead. Um, I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. At least a reveal of what I'm driving. If you guys want to see any more, geez, there was so much cool stuff in there and there's so much that went on and there was just a lot going on. I, I didn't film a lot of it. It's ridiculous, to, dude. If you want to see more of it, Adam filmed a really good video there. Um, Grant filmed a lot there. God, I'm obsessed with this car. Oh, I love it too much. I can't even look at it. Um, but for now, wish me luck at the LZ World Tour. This one's going to be spicy. So. Spicy. You guys know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. You'll see you very shortly. Goodbye.